Hi, thanks for joining. Today we're going to go through an unboxing and a high level walkthrough of the user interface uh, for the Sunville TT TV box. And the model number that we're going to uh, go through or look at today is the T95V Pro. If you uh, saw my other video, we actually, that was the little brother of this guy, which was the wall plug in directly into the wall. Now this is going to have more of that box form factor that you're used to. So we'll get started here. Uh, looking around the box, it just slides out quite simply, nothing really, um, no branding on the side of the box, so we'll put that to the side. Open it up here. So first thing we see is the hockey puck style um, device, and this is on par with, uh, you know, Roku's a little bit bigger these days, but uh, Apple TV, I would say, Fire TV, uh, kind of in that same category. Uh, again, uh, the brand is, is Sunville, so I'll just put this to the side and we'll come right back to that. So continuing to look in the box, looks like we have a remote in the back here. Remote control looks a lot like the um, other uh, devices in the, the family. Uh, we just recently reviewed the, the T95P in one of my other videos, same exact remote um, as far as I can tell. So we'll put it there, see what else is in here. Looks like we have the power out, the power plug. Again, it's kind of nice, it comes with an HDMI cable. And the last thing I'm guessing is the instruction manual. Android TV. This is running uh, Kodi, which is an open source uh, media center edition. If you're familiar with Plex or XBMC, um, along those lines, possibly a port. Uh, I just know that um, it is open source, whereas Plex now is, is somewhat paid. You can get free accounts. But regardless, Kodi is what it's running, Android 6 um, television. And we'll, uh, we'll get to the interface in a second. But let's take a look at that box again. So looking at the top of the box, uh, we have the power indicator here, which obviously isn't lit because it's not plugged in. But let's just go around the world here. Uh, nothing on the right side, nothing on the front. On the left side, um, we have the USB and we have the, the card reader, as well as the back side where we have the, um, looks like we got the power, we got the USB, we got the uh, gigabit network port, as well as an HDMI 2. Uh, plug. Uh, HDMI 2.0 uh, runs 4K, 60 hertz, um, just like its little brother. Runs 1080p just fine as well. It'll just down convert. Um, a lot of times I always tell people to check the port on your TV when you're plugging it in because there are ports labeled uh, specifically for 4K TV. Um, again, it's just a, a different type of connector inside the TV that it's got to uh, convert. So you, again, just make sure if you don't get that 4K image that you uh, check your port on your TV to make sure that it can it can run and it's plugged into the proper port. And then this is a uh, audio out. So if you have a receiver, you can get um, a Y adapter, plug it directly into this. Although I don't know why you do that unless you can't take HDMI audio over HDMI. Uh, again, there's the uh, audio out. So that said, we're going to go ahead and jump to a walk through the user interface. All right, welcome back. So what I did is I went ahead and I hooked up the smart TV box uh, via HDMI uh, directly to the TV. And you can see this is the welcome screen. Now surprisingly enough, uh, I booted up extremely quick to the point of plugging it in and powering on was a, was a matter of seconds. Um, so again, the Sunville T95V Pro is what we're looking at. Um, it's an 8-core uh, media center box, running Android 6, it's got Wi-Fi, it's got the 2.4 uh, gigahertz, 5 gigahertz as well. If you uh, don't want Wi-Fi, uh, I tend to like Hardline better, so it's got a, a gigabit port on the back. Uh, video format wise, uh, it does uh, H.263, H.264, uh, I believe uh, H.265 as well because it's a port of 4. Uh, format wise, ASF, AVI, DAT, uh, FLV, the Flash, ISO, MKV, MOV, MPEG, um, and WMV. So basically, your, all your your standard video formats. Uh, this thing will play uh, audio format AAC, AC3, and all the codecs typically go with the videos I just mentioned. Uh, it does photos, so bitmap, GIF, JPEG, uh, PNG, TIFF, uh, as well as uh, uh, 5.1 support surround sound. So what I'll do here is we'll go um, and just do a high level walkthrough of kind of what the, the user interface looks like. But you can see here, this is the load screen. And on the left, because it, it comes with uh, Kodi, uh, we have our media center. Um, so we'll just go ahead and open that. Uh, remind me later, thank you very much. And um, prior to starting this video, I actually did uh, join the Wi-Fi, so um, we, that's why we're getting all the updates right now. It's going through and making sure everything is up to date. So if you're familiar with uh, like any of the apps, like I said, XPMC, uh, Plex, uh, Kodi, again, it's your standard uh, video D, uh, DNLA uh, type 
server to get the videos here or you can put it directly on or do it over an SMB or UNC path share in order to get the videos to this um, if you're looking to kind of use this as just more of a front end rather than storing it on the device or as an external hard drive. So let's go home. Um, so you can see here I have my browser, web browser, I have my apps, uh, Google Store um, as well, music settings that um, we would go in. This is where um, I went in into the network. You can adjust the display, sounds, the applications, the storage available on there, and if you had an external hard drive connected via USB. Uh, just moving down, more preference stuff, you can see what's on the screen. Um, add Bluetooth uh, remote, you can change some stuff too, and then you can, it looks like you can add accounts as well, uh, which is typical on a lot of boxes. So go back home. Looking at uh, the, you know, we have a, a memory indicator here, uh, clean memory. Uh, again, this is running Android 6, so my guess is you're going to be able to put any type of packages that you'd want to get from the Google Store, uh, whether they're directly from the store or if you develop your own, um, you're more than likely going to be able to put it on here by going to, let's just try this here, let's go apps, typically you do it, yeah, app installer, there it is, um, you load it on a local disk or uh, a memory stick and actually put it in here and actually load up your own apps if you chose to do that. Um, you know, more entertaining, you know, for kids or even just to use it as a box for YouTube um, directly on your uh, TV here. If your smart TV doesn't have one or you're trying to turn a dumb TV into a smart TV, um, here's a YouTube. Uh, let's just uh, go to a video here. Looks like there's a teaser trailer for the new Transformers. Can you hear some audio. Good picture. Um, Chris, I mean, nothing that I would say that would jump out as uh, not equal on par with other boxes that I've seen. Without sacrifice, there could be no victory. Two species at war. Let's just go for a few more seconds here. One flesh. All right, so I'll back out of here. Um, so again, yeah, so to sum it up, uh, again, I, I, you know, I'm Paris and I played with a lot of boxes, so you have the Apple TV, good interface, but again, you're kind of restricted to what you can do. Uh, Roku, lots and lots of channels, um, good package as well, but I mean, for the price, you know, right now, this is, you're probably looking at like a $60, $65 box uh, for this uh, device, you know, to, to outfit TVs maybe in the den or kids' rooms or what, I think it's a great pickup because, again, um, you can run Kodi off uh, media servers that you have. You can download apps from the Google Store, so you're able to to go out there and get, like, your, your super mainstream apps like Netflix, uh, YouTube, so maybe you just use it for that. Uh, I'm sure who's out there, as long as it's in the Google Store, you're going to be able to install it. So, again, good device. Uh, I, you know, my overall rating is uh, for the price. Uh, if you're if you're not looking to get into one of the more mainstream boxes, this is a great pickup and a great add to uh, fix your entertainment needs for the near future. So um, feel free to comment or, or ask any questions on our blog. Thanks for joining.